you met, if you met Gary on the street, you know, he looks, he's a cowboy. He looks like a cowboy and, you know, blue jeans, t-shirt. But when you engage with him and have a conversation, you can tell he has a lot of spirituality and passion, not only for art, but for his fellow man. He feels things deeply and he expresses himself quite directly. You know, you can have a conversation, but then you can have a talk with Gary. You know, he's so real. And, um, and he makes me think. He'll say something and it, it might be something that didn't occur to me or it did, but not quite that way. You know, or, and to know that he feels really deeply about things. And I think that shows in his art a lot. I'm someone who's spent my whole life trying to communicate with others about um, my, my own spiritual awareness and um, about the, the invisible part of life that I feel affects me profoundly and others profo profoundly. Um, and so I found that Gary's art helps um, make this invisible experience and realm visible um, in ways that are moving and, and challenging and um, and they help me share those experiences and feelings with others. Gary is is having people question their morals and the morals of this, the actions of the society at large through his artwork. I've been to his studio a few times and that's where I've learned a lot about him because that's where there's everything, A to Z. You know, very, you know, strange sort of surreal images and there's, and there's always a story behind it, do you know? And sometimes he doesn't know where it came from. We've had that conversation too. I said, Gary, how did you think that up? And he said, I didn't. I just am ready to paint and, and something comes over me. And, and he has said that to me several times. And I believe it because he, his art can look so different one item to the next. So I do think that it's possible that it comes from someplace else and he's just able to, to get it on a canvas or, or, or build, build something. It's, he's intriguing. Before I knew really much about him, his work, he was helping in, with the children's ministry program by making um, tangible um, pieces to help us teach Bible stories. He's just got such a, a generous, loving spirit, and he wants to help how he can. Um, and he's he's got a, a playful way of, of offering his gifts. Um, he's very, very thoughtful. He wants to know why, and um, he wants to understand the meaning behind what we're asking of him. Gary has, over the years, helped mobile art in different ways. Uh, at one of the nursing homes, we had, they wanted us to do an outdoor space where we did a mural. And I thought it would be nice if we had some benches. So Gary built us some benches and the seniors painted them so that they could sit on the benches and enjoy the mural that they also painted. And then he also, uh, we were having our first exhibit at the Bass Concert Hall and I had lots of little pieces like six by six wooden trays that the seniors had painted. So Gary framed them together in a collection and it became more powerful. So he saw the importance of being able to take the art by our seniors and put it together in a way that it would make an impact for the viewers at the Bass Concert Hall. I keep this little picture in my office just to show you how colorful he can be. This is just, you know, you can see where my hands are. It's not very big. It's called Summertime. And this is also a departure. He doesn't usually use these blasts of color, you know, and it's, it's, it's abstract, except if you look carefully, you can see a bird, you can see a flower, you can see a splashy ocean, you know, that kind of thing. And it just makes me happy. He loves and incorporates people of all diverse backgrounds into his world. And it's Gary as a person that I really love and respect beyond his creativity as an artist. Gary, thank you so much for bringing together your deep spirituality um, and your sense of citizenship um, in the world and in the United States and um, inspiring us to see things in a new way and to respond to that invisible reality. 
Gary, I'm so, so very proud of you for this recognition that you're getting. It's about time. There's so many things that you have contributed to my life at the church with all of the gorgeous sculptures that you've made and paintings and, and just, just being a partner with you as an artist has been really a privilege for me. I'm intrigued by you. I love that you're a deep thinker. I love that you still have so much to say. Um, I've loved my visits to your studio where I find out even more about you and get maybe a little more confused. But that just means we have to have another great conversation, so that's okay with me. I love your work, I love your attitude, I love your friendship, and uh, I love that you're in this community. You have a lot to say, and you're still saying it nicely, loudly, deeply, and beautifully. Congratulations. Teresa Zelazny, the director of the Mobile Art Program, and I'm very pleased to award Gary Flemons the first inaugural award for a senior artist. So this is the Mobile Art Award for 2020. Thank you very much. I'm honored to receive this award. Yay!